My name's Chris and I farm on the coast of Ledger Vegetable. We run beef and lamb enterprises and we've been organic for over 20 years. For the past five or six years, we've been moving towards even more regenerative farming. We run a herd of Angus and a herd of pedigree belted Galloways. Had the Angus since we had our own meat delivery service to supply. So we moved away from that to selling stores and started the Belty herd as a grazing herd on our hill ground. As soon as I saw what the Belties could do, I was convinced they were our future. The way they grazed, their hardiness, everything about them really. I made a plan to start reducing the Angus herd over time and increase the Belty herd. I'd been looking into different grazing systems and felt that with some work, we could finish Belty steers entirely off grass and never seeing the inside of a shed. My Angus herd are great, but they much prefer a shed for winter. The doors are always open so they can access the fields as much as they like, but they definitely get used to lying in, and that brings all the associated costs of feeding, bedding up, cleaning out and much spreading. The Belties on the other hand would actively avoid coming in, even if I put them anywhere near a shed. We are investing in electric fencing and our water infrastructure as and when we can afford it to allow us to split our paddocks down a little more every year and increase our rest periods between grazing. We've started using winter forest crops followed by arable silages under sown with herbal lace to improve our pastures over time and we're working towards using stockpile pasture, bale grazing and tall grass grazing. We're still building the Belty herd so the Angus have been running the new grazing system in the summer months and we've already seen improvements in grass growth, species diversity and daily live weight gains. I've also begun the process of changing the breed of our sheep flock. I've been buying in Welsh Mountain Hill Flock ewe lambs and within the next few years I'll have a closed Welsh half-bred flock which will lamb out in the middle of April at the earliest. Whether or not we try to finish lambs as well is undecided but I think they'll complement the Belties really well in the grazing system we're trying to create. There's a long way for us to go in this journey, but I'm convinced we are moving in the right direction. The changes we've seen in our industry over the last few years and the changes that are coming in the near future have definitely accelerated my plans. I don't think it's an easy road ahead for all of us in agriculture, but I genuinely believe the changes we are making here give us the best chance to not only survive, but be successful as a business and benefit the environment around us that we call home.